The Steam Game Recording Beta is now out. I've already covered a complete guide showing you absolutely everything you need to know about it and more in the description down below. But in this quick video, I'll show you how to record non-Steam games very quickly, assuming you've already got this set up. If you haven't, check the description down below. All right, so if we start up games here, it'll record them into our view, followed by recordings and screenshots. We can clip games, etc. But how exactly do we record non-Steam games with the Steam Recorder, background recordings, etc.? Well, you need to add them to Steam and launch them through Steam whenever you're going to be playing them. What we'll do is we'll click Add a Game in the bottom left, add a non-Steam game, and we can select a program from our list of installed programs over here, or you can manually browse to it and select the main game EXE yourself. Scrolling down, I have the Minecraft Launcher. I'll add this, add selected programs, and if we search for Minecraft Launcher, we'll play it here which starts up the launcher as usual, and now we can do everything as we would usually. But now you can see a Steam FPS overlay in the top left, and if we hit Shift Tab, the Steam overlay as well. If you hit Shift Tab, and you see this at the very top where it says Recording Other Game, click this over here in order to switch to this game, which can happen if it gets confused with launches, switching between windows, etc. This should work and usually does. It doesn't seem like it's switching to this game in my case, but I assume this is a bug that they'll work on in the future. Anyways, if you're launching a game that doesn't have a specific launcher built into it, so you're launching something from Ubisoft or EA, etc. from a different client instead of Steam, then things are probably going to work just fine. When it comes to a game launcher and then the game itself, things may get a little bit confused. Anyways, if we view the clips, we'll see recordings for this particular game, and you can see the Minecraft launcher background recording is actually happening here. If we quit out of our game as such, and in Steam, head across to View, followed by Recordings and Screenshots, we have the Minecraft Launcher here, which if we click, we see the actual game starting here, and we're playing it. It says it was recording another game, but it was definitely recording the correct game here. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you found this video useful, and hopefully the compatibility is good. Things should be improved in the future, and of course, if you're trying to record things off of Uplay or something else, things should probably work very, very well out of the box. So anyways, that's it. Once again, you'll find a complete crash course for everything you need to know about and more in the description down below for this particular update. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.